Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray and I can't believe that we're talking about this again. I'm gonna apologize in advance, but this is what it is. These are the issues that we're having. We cannot find a plugin for whatever reason. Let me take you through a couple of steps that are gonna help you right now. So let us imagine that we open up our session. We just downloaded a new plugin. In my case, I just downloaded Opus by East West. I'm looking for it and for whatever reason, we cannot find it. Okay, I'm gonna take you through some strategies that are gonna help you find it once and for all. Number one, we're gonna go into the plugin manager. If you don't know where this is, go into the main menu bar, Logic Preferences Plugin Manager. Currently dimmed out because obviously I have summoned it already. All right, so inside of the plugin manager, what we're going to do is resize this. We're going to make sure that show all is selected on the top left. And so let's say there's a plugin you don't want to see anymore forever. In my case, this tranquilizer plugin, which I don't use, so why have it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it from my components folder. So that's step number two, which I'll show you in a second. But for now, we're looking for the plugin, right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and look for the manufacturer right here on the bottom left. I click on East West. I can see that without a shadow of a doubt, it certainly is there and it has been validated. If it wasn't for whatever reason, I want you to go ahead and reset and rescan that one selection. Now, you could do a couple at a time, but I find this is most effective when validating one at a time. Now, let's say this is completely out of sorts, and I don't know, maybe you were like, you know, playing in here and moving things around. You might want to restore default settings on the top left, and that may be the fix. Now, if you don't see it immediately, probably restart logic, probably restart your entire computer operating software and then you should be able to go to the manufacturer and see the appropriate name locked and loaded so that's step number one go into the plugin manager and try and find a solution step number two we're going to look at the components folder that we were speaking about earlier so i'll give you the file path in a second but here it is right here. This is the AU component. I no longer need this specific file, so I'm gonna throw it away. And so when I come back into Logic, when I try and look for that file, it will no longer be here, okay? So let's go ahead and look for Opus. I'm gonna click on this window and just type in OP, and there it is right there. And so this tells me that not only does Logic see it, but it is inserted in the appropriate folder so that when Logic opens up each and every time, it's scanning the necessary AU component file. So that's step number two. Go ahead and check that out. And let's look for that file path. If you look at the screen, you might wanna take a quick screenshot. We're talking your Mac HD library, audio, plugins, components. Logic uses component files, not VST or AAX, so just keep that in mind. All right, and then finally, step number three. You might have to dig in deep into your system preferences. Go into security and privacy, and within the general tab, you might have a dialog window saying something like, do you want to open this file, even though it was downloaded from the internet or something like that? Go ahead and say open anyway. Again, you might have to restart Logic, you might have to restart your computer, but then surely when you go inside the plugin manager, you should be able to validate it within there. And of course, when you sift through your plugins, you should be able to find it with the appropriate manufacturer. If you were not seeing it inside of the plugin manager, and in fact, you have located it inside of your component folder, then what's happening is that it's basically just not compatible at this time. And that does happen. That is not outside of the question. So if 
you have inserted the component file inside of the component folder and you are not seeing it here or maybe you're seeing it but you're not able to access it when you are sifting through your plugins then basically it is not compatible at this time what i recommend is that you go to the plugin manufacturer website and you check for compatibility this is eddie gray signing off on behalf of resources for the modern creative go ahead and check out the 10 logic courses that we have made available absolutely for free so you can check those out to help you better understand the program thank you so much for watching go ahead and sub go ahead and like and i'll catch you on the next one cheers I'm not afraid of